Happy National Library Week from your Manatee Libraries. To help us celebrate, our County Commissioner will read an exciting story just for you. Enjoy! Good morning, boys and girls. I am so excited to be uh, here with you today. My name is Manatee County Commissioner Vanessa Baugh, and I'm at the Braden River Library, and I have the honor of reading a story to you today, and I hope you like it. I picked out one that I just love, and it's called The Library Book for Bear, and it was written by Bonnie Becker. So, let's begin. Bear never had been to the library, but I bet all of you watching this have. He had seven very nice books at home, three about kings and queens, three about honeybees, and one about pickles. Pickles? Bear was quite sure he had seen all the books that he would ever need, so he thought. Now there's Bear sitting at the table with his book. One morning, Bear heard a tap, tap, tapping on his door. Who could it be? When he opened the door, there was Mouse, small and gray and bright-eyed. We are off, exclaimed Mouse with a happy wag of his whiskers. Bear frowned. He had agreed to go with Mouse to the library, but now he was quite sure it was a dreadful mistake. Well, let's see. Oh, there are many delightful books in the library. Mouse assured him. Huh, Bear grumbled, but he had promised Mouse that he'd go. So there he is putting, it looks like, roller skates to go to the library. How interesting is that? Bear skated around Mouse rode in the basket to the library, the wind ripping nicely through their fur. Would you like to try to go to the library like that on skates? I think I would. But when they got to the library, Bear didn't like how big it looked. They are far too many books in there, he protested. Most excessive. That is a big building, isn't it? Looks like it's two stories. And poor Bear, there he is. Do you think he was kind of hesitant to go inside? Well, let's see. Oh, no, it's quite exciting, Mouse said. So they go in. In the library were more books than Bear had ever thought there could be. He quickly found a tucked away corner. But even here, there were lots and lots of books. Huh, terribly extravagant. Bear's voice was a little loud. But look at all the books. That's what's so great about a library, isn't it? So he just looks around and he still has his skates on. I shall find you the perfect one, Mouse said quietly in the library voice. Because we all know in a library, shh, you have to be quiet. What about pickles? Commanded the bear. After all, he only had one of those. He kind of looks grumpy, doesn't he? Sitting there. But Mouse had whisked away. Mouse came back with a thick green book. Bear opened it. Rocket ships. Ridiculous. Bear's voice was getting louder. A good book about pickles is all I require. Remember, quiet in the library, murmured Mouse as he scurried off. So you can see Bear sitting there. And he is going through the book about rocket ships. Let's see what he thinks. He soon returned with a tall yellow book, Mouse did. I am not interested in wooden canoes, said Bear. 
He was even louder this time, Bear was. Quiet! Voices in the library! Mouse reminded him that we must be quiet in the library. Shh! My voice is always quiet, Bear shouted. I will find my own book. I can assure you that pickles are quite interesting. I can't help but wonder how many kids looking at this right now eat pickles. Love to know that. So Mouse didn't look so sure, but Bear quickly spotted a blue book with a pickle on the spine. And Mouse sprung up the shelf to get it for him. And you can see Mouse there trying to get up to get this book with a pickle on it. Inside were pictures of pickles. The pickles had little fairy wings. Can you imagine a pickle with fairy wings? They were dancing with petunias. No dancing pickles, Bear roared. Shh, said a voice. And you can see Bear with the poor mouse holding on to the book about pickles with fairy wings. Bear peeked around a bookshelf. Can you imagine a big old bear peeking around a bookshelf? There sat a librarian with a cluster of youngsters gathered around her. The librarian smiled, but a mother squirrel squished an angry finger against her lips and told an old raccoon sternly, quiet in the library. What do you think about all this? Look at all the different animals that are here listening to the librarian read a book, kind of like what we're doing right now, isn't it? Uh-oh, look at Bear. Bear turned back with a huffy sniff. I know when I'm not wanted, he told Mouse. I want to go home. Surely at least one book, Mouse began. You would think that the bear would have to take at least one book, wouldn't you? But Bear cut him off. I have all the books I need. He looked quite certain. Then we are off, said Mouse. But his whiskers didn't wag this time. So do you think that maybe Mouse was a little aggravated? Do you think maybe with the bear? Bear stood stock still. He was listening carefully to a voice on the other side of the bookshelf. So I wonder what was being said. So the very brave bear began to inch his way toward the treasure chest, the voice was saying. I'm ready, began Mouse. Shh! It's just getting to be to the good part. But you said, the mouse at this point had to be kind of aggravated, wouldn't you think? Quiet! Voices in the library! Oh! Oh my, oh my. This time, the librarian got up and looked around the bookshelf at Bear. Bear stood very still and quiet, as if he had been still and quiet all along. But we know he hadn't, had he? Would you like to join story time? The librarian asked Bear. Bear glanced at the mouse. We'd love to have you, said the librarian. Bear and mouse scooted around the shelf and found two empty chairs. Wow! The librarian began to read again. Bear lifted up the lid to the treasure chest and inside, are you ready? The librarian paused. Mouse and bear strained forward.
Inside, she said, was a mound of pickle slices. Oh, my. And each shining slice was made of diamonds and gold. Diamonds and gold. Pickles. Who would have thought? And everyone shouted, Hooray for the very brave bear. And then she said, The end. Bear stared dreamingly into space for a moment. Then he looked over at Mouse and announced, As I said, pickles are most interesting. Indeed, said Mouse. Later, Mouse wrote in the basket with seven new books. There were two about wooden canoes, two about rocket ships, and two about teapots. Look how happy Bear looks. Do you think maybe he realized how wonderful a library is? And one more book called The Very Brave Bear and Treasure of Pickle Island, which Bear read to Mouse that very same day. What a wonderful book, The End. I really enjoyed my time with you today reading, and I hope to be able to do it again with you real soon. In the meantime, make sure you have to keep coming to the library because we have so, so many books that you would just love to see. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you, Commissioner. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to visit the library and check out a book today.